Hey guys, Zeke here with ZP Machining. Uh, just want to do a quick little video. I just finished up my Gen 2 gang tooling uh, for the 8L Tormach. And I also set up a pneumatic 5C collet closer and a pneumatic solenoid so I can uh, do loop cycles and run multiple parts. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick setup here and a few parts off it and go from there. So today we're making a batch of uh, CZ457 loaded chamber indicators. Uh, they're made out of 17-4 stainless. They're about an inch and a half long and this thin area is just a little over a hundred thousandths. Uh, here's our new setup. We want the AXA quick change tool post. And in that, we're running a 29 thousandths parting tool. Uh, then the OD tool is a solid carbide shank, CCMT insert. And then for our dimple on the end, we're just using a carbide center drill. And then we set it up with a bar puller. Let's see if I can give you a quick shot here of the collet closer. We want a Dunham 5C collet closer, and this is rated for the higher RPMs. And we have a pneumatic solenoid down there that opens and closes it using M code. M64 will open and M65 closes. And then here's the IO board from Tormach. Uh, everything was fairly simple to hook up and so far well worth it. So I'm going to close the lid here and let's run some parts. So on a 18 inch bar we're getting 12 parts and uh, they're running about three and a half minutes apart. A little noisy here, but here's our center drill. We turn the chamfer on the end. We rough cut the burr off. Now this is a finish cut for the rear section. section I'm basically packing it to help with chips. Maybe. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to have a cycle here to pull chips off. Now we're going to do a finish cut on the smaller diameter, and that's done in one pass. Uh, and if you notice our new subplate for our game tooling, it has uh, little slots built in it. So that way our tool holders can uh, be repositioned in a specific location per part. And you can take it off and put it back on and just touch off one tool or check one tool and set your offset off of that. Uh, with our old style, we'd have to basically touch off all the tools and guess where we need to be. Um, the AXA Quick Change Tool Post so far I'm happy with it. It's a little bigger than I would like. It does eat up a little bit of X travel. But overall, so far I'm happy. Now we're going to clear chips off of here. And we're going to go in and part.
your bar puller. Got M64, opens the collet. And it takes a few seconds for that solenoid to build pressure to push the collet out, uh, which I'm okay with because it goes slow and it won't bang up against your uh, bar puller. And I've got it set just right for delay where it will pull when it's a few thousand shy. Part number two. Rinse and repeat for 11 more. So. so far, I'm happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoy that and uh, let me know what you think of the new setup. And I think it's going to be a money maker. So. Get over here where it might be a little more quiet. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll keep these coming.